Did you guys see what I got for my birthday? My coworkers? If you follow me on Instagram and Facebook, you've already seen it. It says, Mama needs a cocktail. Today, it's just water. Hey, guys, welcome. Hey, cruisers. Sorry, I have to say that. Hey, cruisers. Welcome to our live stream Saturday for Vlogtoberfest. We're so happy to have you here. Today's live stream is sponsored by CruiseLine.com, where you can find reviews, tips, and photos from real everyday cruisers. And I have a challenge for you guys right now. Mr. Cruise Tips TV, roll the chat, please. We would like to ask all of you guys, especially those of you who are familiar with CruiseLine.com, who have been with us for a while and who know all about the website, to tell us how you use CruiseLine.com or Shipmate app. We are going to be giving away a prize today, so make sure that you uh, get that comment and we're going to go ahead and randomly pick one after the episode is saved to replay. So we'd love to hear from you guys. How do you use CruiseLine.com? Awesome prize from my travel collection coming at you. I will be mailing it to you personally in the next few weeks, so let us know. Today we are going to be talking all about drink packages, dining, specialty dining, dining packages, buffet food, main dining room questions, whatever you guys want to talk about in the drinks and dining kind of category. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start today by going over all of the cruise line drink packages. Now I'm going to review just so you guys know what ships we're going to cover, excuse me, what cruise lines we're going to cover. We're going to cover Cru uh, Carnival. We're going to cover Holland America. We're going to cover Norwegian Princess and Royal Caribbean. And those are going to be the only lines that we cover. We could go on and on and cover some of the some of the smaller cruise lines or some of the lesser known ones or some that I'm just not familiar with. So we will not be touching Celebrity or MSC or Costa Costa or Asmara or anything like that today. So we're just gonna go with those top five or six. You okay over there, Mr. Cruise Tips TV? <laughs> so um, hope everybody's doing great. We're gonna get started in just a moment. I would like to pop in and see what you guys are saying about how you use cruiseline.com. Thank you for the nice comments, you guys, about Vlogtoberfest. We're having a really good time with it. We are going to miss it. We um, are definitely looking forward to, to kind of seeing what you guys have to say about it and seeing how we feel when it's over. I think we're going to miss it a lot and probably want to go back and do it again in a couple of months when we have some time. So anyhow, everybody, let's see what everybody is saying. Okay. All right. There's tons of people making comments here. I'm just going to try to catch up a little bit. Okay, Starwood said, I use the app to track how many days and to see different options for excursions. Starwood, I think you mean you use it like your countdown clock, right, for Shipmate app? Awesome. Diane Peacock says, I look for information on ships and excursions. Yes, me too. Susan S says, I use it for tracking the days down, deck plans, and looking at excursions. Yeah, I'm seeing a theme here. You guys like that countdown tracker, don't you? The countdown clock, it's the best. Bonnie Bergstein says, counting down the days until my Regal Princess cruise on Shipmate and chat with Cheryl and Mike. Yeah, definitely. I know we love chatting with our friends over there, don't we? Very, very cool. Super exciting. Uh, Daryl McRae says, I love using a Shipmate app for the countdown. Yep, more countdown. <laughs> I love it. Susan Dykeman said, I use CruiseLine.com for the wonderful tips and setting alerts. Love it. Very cool. There's tons of them. So I'm going to let those roll on the screen here for a little while. And what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to start talking about all of the drink packages for the different lines. I'm going to run through a summary of each of them. So during this time, while I'm running through the summary, if you would like to ask some questions about drink packages, this would be a really great time to do it. And Mr. Cruise Tips TV will keep an eye out for your drink packages questions. You can also let us know if you regularly take advantage of or have ever bought a drink package. Let us know um, if you have done that and what cruise line it was with and how your experience was. And we'll read those comments aloud as we roll here. So I wanted to also let everybody know today that we are not going to be covering soda packages or regular um, non-alcoholic drink packages today. If we did that, this live chat would probably only be about drink packages. So we could do that another time where we talk about the non-alcoholic ones that are available. But today we're just going to be talking about the different cruise line um, cocktail and alcoholic and all the names they give them cocktail type packages. So Thank you for your patience with that, guys. We will dive into that a little bit more. Ms. Michelle said, I love looking at deck cams on Shipmate. Yes, that's so true. All right. Davina, oh, Dina Living Life said, um, countdown clock excursions and connecting with others. Very cool. Well, I will look at all these comments, you guys, after this is saved to the replay. So if I've missed your awesome tip about cruiseline.com, do not worry. I will get to it later. I promise I will read it. 
afterwards. Okay, so let's talk about all of the different drink packages, guys. I'm gonna summarize them right now so that we have an understanding of how they all differ, what the prices are, what is included, what's not included, and some of the fine print of each. Let's start with Carnival. Carnival offers their drink package, I believe it's called the Cheers package, the Cheers program, on all of their ships except Spirit and Legend. And they do not offer this package in Australia. I do not know why. If anybody knows why they don't offer the drink package in Australia, please leave it in the chat. And Mr. Cruise Tips TV and I will try to get that information and share it with all of you. I still have never figured out why they don't do that in Australia. Carnival's Cheers package is $49.95 per person per day if purchased in advance and $54.95 if you purchase it once on board. You can choose from mixed drinks, beer, wine, spirits valued at $50 or less each. That's a pretty high value. Up to 15 drinks max a day. Make mental note of that, guys. Carnival has a 15 drink max per day. If that is an issue for you, something to consider. You can also get soda, non-alcoholic cocktails, energy drinks, coffees, teas, bottled water, Powerade, vitamin water, coconut water and honest tea and discounts on wine. So fine print on this is super important, you guys. If one adult in the cabin purchases it, the other adult in the cabin must also purchase it. You can only have order one drink at a time. There's a five minute wait between, between drink purchases and all bottles and cans are served to you opened. So you can't take like 10 beers and go put them in your fridge. They'll all be open. Okay, guys, so also important, one of our subscribers this week, and I wanna tell you exactly who that was, um, let me know a, another bit of fine print that's very, very important about the Carnival package, okay? So Brandy Carter let me know that in New York and Texas, you cannot use the package until the second day of all sailings leaving from the ports of New York, Alabama, and Texas. I'm sorry, the states of New York, Alabama, and Texas. So you would not be charged on that first day for it, but you cannot start using the drink package in those states until 6 a.m. the next day after you leave the state. So it's also not available on two night sailing. So that is Carnival's, um, that's Carnival's summary, okay? I'm gonna jump into the chat for just a moment and see what kind of questions we have. Um, let's see here, Stephen Kyle said, do you think the cruise lines should offer mini beverage packages? Yeah, totally. Stephen, do you mean something like a package where you can have five drinks a day for $25? I totally do because I'm not that heavy of a drinker and I would go for something like that. Um, okay. <laughs> Christine said 15 alcoholic drinks in a day would make you an alcoholic. You would think so, but not necessarily. Speaking of that, you know who I just thought of and then they popped into the chat is Tommy from Always Be Booked Cruises and Vacations. Tommy said, this is my topic. I have done extensive field research on this matter. Yes, Tommy, I know this is, you have purchased many beverage packages for research purposes, haven't you? So yeah, you guys utilize Tommy's knowledge while he's in the chat. He just got off of a Royal Caribbean um, ship and has some really great experience with drink packages across the different fleets. I know he's taken advantage of them at least on Carnival and Royal Caribbean. And I'm thinking, Tommy, you've done Norwegian too. So he might be able to answer some questions here today. Yeah, Susan, I would love a mini drink package too. Mr. Chris Tips TV, can I move on or do you have any questions holding? Madeira vlog moments. Madeira vlog moments. Why does Carnival have everyone in the cabin have to get the package? Good question. The reason you, that everyone in the cabin has to get the package Madeira vlog moments is because people abuse the package and they share the drinks with their, their significant others or their cabin mates and Carnival or any other cruise line loses money. You're going to find as we go th through this today that there's only one, I believe there's only one of these cruise lines that doesn't require that, by the way. Royal Caribbean just jumped on the bandwagon and um, I think they newly adopted that policy. So um, it's because of abuse, unfortunately. People just... Sharing drinks, sharing drinks, sharing drinks. And I know, I know that that does happen. Okay, Tommy went on Norwegian Escape. Okay, sounds good. So this is more of a soda thing. Soda thing, okay. Uh, Brandy Lynn Patrick, if we get a soda package, would we be able to get filtered water at the fountain? I do not drink tap water ever. Um, if you have the soda package, do you can you get filtered water? Yes, you can probably get filtered water, but I don't think you can get bottled water. But every single line is different with the non-alcoholic packages. So take a look. All you have to do is choose the, the cruise line that you're going on and Google that cruise line and then soft drink package and see um, what is <clears throat> included. They will tell you, excuse me, <clears throat> I'm so sorry. You, they will tell you if um, 
bottled water is not included, but filtered water, I mean, the water that they serve on the cruise line that they pour in your glass is tap water, unless you're on a very high-end line and you're getting like, you know, some kind of soda water. Okay, I'm ready for the next one, Mr. Cruise Tips TV. Nice Smith. How much are non-alcoholic drinks, like virgin drinks, mm -hmm. are there packages for those? Yes, there are packages for non-alcoholic drinks, and it sounds like we do need to do an episode on non-alcoholic drink packages. You guys have my word. We're going to put that on the list, and we're going to do that because I see a lot of questions coming in. There are soda-only packages on some lines, and other lines have their... Um, they have their drink packages for non-alcoholic beverages set up to be soda and more. So a mocktail, if you are not on a package, will be somewhere between $4.95 and $6.95 most of the time. A soda is usually 2 to $4. I'd say most of them ranging about $1.99 to $3 per soda. Okay, shall we move on to Holland America, guys? Okay, we're gonna move on to Holland America's package. Are you ready? So, package for Holland America is $44.95 per day with advanced purchase or $49.95 when you purchase it on board. Now, that's for 15 beverages a day, and that's called the signature package. That's beer, wine, spirits, cocktails, sodas, and coffee for the entire sailing. Drinks cannot go over $8. Now, they do have an elite beverage package on Holland America that will get you all the same stuff up to a $15 value each. So not not eight, but 15. And on Koningsdam, you can also use the Coca-Cola Freestyle machines, which offer more than 100 flavors. Oh, my husband would love that. He's a Diet Coke fanatic. All right, so they have a, they have a different package on Holland America, too, so you have another choice, and that is called the Elite Beverage Package. That is $54.95 per day per person. And here we go, fine print, guys. If one person, one passenger in a cabin opts for the package, anyone who's 21 plus in the same cabbage is required to purchase it as well, so you can't share with your husband, wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, brother, sister, whoever's in your cabin with you they don't want you to do that on Holland America and Carnival and more so we're gonna see more here okay I want to read a tip from Tommy at always be booked because he is very knowledgeable about this stuff and it's important that we get this stuff um, he said I'll also remember on Carnival they time you so you can't get a drink until five or ten minutes after your last one yeah totally Tommy I saw that in the fine print that's crazy okay so back to Holland America real quick here guys um, here's another thing I do not like about Holland America's package uh, you cannot have beverages on Half Moon Key, their private island, from the package. And Tommy, uh, from Always Be Booked, can you tell me if that's the same with Carnival? So if you're on Carnival and you go to Half Moon Key, can you also not use the beverage package there? I think that's bogus. I think if you pay for unlimited drinks on a cruise and you can't use it on their private island when they're taking all the same stuff from the ship, that is so lame. I'm sorry, you guys rarely hear me express really negative opinions about things, but I would be mad if I bought the drink package and was paying 50, 60, or even $70 a day and I couldn't use it. Like, I'd be really mad. Okay, so they, Hall in America also offers a Cellar Master package, which is a choice of five wine bottles, a standard and premium wine tasting, um, and a Pinnacle Grill dinner, wine accessory gift set, and a Holland America line commemorative bottle of wine starting at $252 per person. Now that's clever. I really think that that's cool. So they've got a lot of other things in the now and alcoholic there. Most of the fine print for Holland America is just that they add that 15% service charge. Guys, know that all of these lines are going to be adding tips. This, these numbers I'm reading to you are before the 15 to 18% gratuity that they will add to your total package price, okay? So Hopefully I didn't say that too fast, but definitely need to know. Um, Tommy at Always Be Booked said, Carnival also carefully measures the drinks with jiggers. Yeah, I bet they do. I bet they're not too much of a, too much of a generous pour. Now, Tommy, if you're comfortable sharing this with me, um, you t I know you tip your bartenders quite liberally when you get on the ship. You find a bartender you really like and you tip them. Do you find that they still use the jiggers and measure as carefully when you do that? Please let us know. Thank you for your inside knowledge. And Tommy said that you cannot use um, the drink package on Half Moon Key if you're on Carnival and it's bogus. Totally agree. Party foul on behalf of all the cruise lines that are doing that. Very bad policy. I do not like it. All right, let's grab some questions now. After, since we're done with Holland America, let's grab a few questions before we go to Norwegian. I'm ready, Mr. Cruise Tips TV. 
I said, I'm ready, Mr. Cruz Tips TV. He's like, what? <laughs> I think he was deeply engaged in conversation with one of you guys. There are a ton of things coming in that I can just read here. Let's see here. El Elaine said Royal Caribbean does allow you to drink on the island. They don't have any other bars on the island besides theirs, so they should allow it. Yeah, we'll have to find out if they do. I, I'll see if that's mentioned in the drink package we're going to cover for them today. Um, it's someone here. Uh, Joseph is saying that Norwegian said that drinks are included in their private island. Well, that's good. Yeah. Ah, ha, ha, ha. I like your the spill in, Tommy. Okay, good. Very cool. All right. Um, Sharon C. said, drink question. Is a Bahama Mama a frozen drink? Yes. A Bahama Mama, as far as I know, I think it's a frozen drink or is it a mixed cocktail, guys? Let's tell Sharon. I'm not much of a drinker. Um, I'm, well, I shouldn't say I'm not much of a drinker. I'm plenty of a drinker. <laughs> what, who, am I, who am I trying to fool? Look what my, what my colleagues got me for my birthday. Come on, guys. I'm, I'm obviously, I like my cocktails. Let's help Sharon. Is a Bahama Mama frozen or not frozen? Okay. 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 Let's see here. Royal Caribbean does allow you to do drinks on the private island. Very good. All right. For those of you who are just joining, welcome. We have covered Carnival's drink package. We have covered Holland America's drink package. And now we are going to jump into Norwegian's drink package. Now, I want to go ahead and preface this with saying you guys know that Norwegian Cruise Line often sells their cruises with perks, right? So if you are buying the free at sea package, you're generally choosing between a couple of perks on your cruise. And generally, people do choose the drink package, the ultimate dining package, shore excursions, free internet, free tips, things like that. But I would say that it's quite common for your Norwegian cruise to come with a perk option where you can opt into an ultimate beverage package. Now, they have also recently raised the price of their ultimate beverage package to $79. So what that means is that they're making it a lot more expensive for you not to opt into it as a perk. So let's get into the nitty gritty of Norwegian Cruise Line's drink package. So all of their ships except for Pride of America, which sails Hawaii, and they, you can't have the package over there, um, and Norwegian Sky. Norwegian Sky, the reason that I'm saying that is that they all of the sailings on Norwegian Sky include a free ultimate beverage package for all passengers anyway. It's an all-inclusive ship. So this package covers every ship besides those two. So they have two beverage packages on Norwegian. They have the corks and caps package, which is $59 per person per day, which is fountain soda, juices, beer, and wines by the glass that are 15 or less. So no spirits, no cocktails. Okay, guys. Then they have, Norwegian has the ultimate beverage package. It is $79 per person per day, plus an 18% gratuity. Includes everything in the corks and caps package, plus liquor and cocktails, 15 or less. You can use your beverage package at all onboard bars, lounges, and restaurants, restaurants, excuse me, and on the Lions private island. I need a drink after that. That was a long sentence. All right. Here's the fine print for Norwegian. Are we ready? The ultimate beverage package is only available for purchase ahead of times on sailings of five days or more. And for purchase on board for sailings of three or four days, the package is not available for sailings of two days or less. 18% gratuity is uh, added. Only one drink is allowed per passenger per order and passengers sharing a cabin or using the same payment method must purchase the beverage package, of course, if they are over 21. So if you have 21-year-old kids staying across the hall and they're on your credit card, they have to also purchase the package. That's very good to know. Actually, and for kids that are two and up, they have to buy the soda package. So that's, that's a factor. If you're not, if you're an adult buying it, that's really really good to know. Now let's read what Tommy from Always Be Booked is saying about this. He says, there is never, ever, ever a reason to purchase a drink package on Norwegian. They raise the price to show value and more importantly, to raise the percentage on the service charge. Tommy's absolutely right, you guys. This was definitely, according to a lot of industry experts out there who you've heard, probably heard recently, and you probably all heard the guest on Cruise Radio, um, Doug Parker's show, saying that it totally seems like a marketing scheme and a way to raise gratuities too. And Tommy and I will totally agree with that. It's 100% raised because they want you to take the perk. So I don't, I don't know of anybody who would buy it either. Okay, Steve Roth is agreeing, and Steve definitely cruises on Norwegian. He said, yes, we always pick the ultimate beverage package as a perk. You do have to pay the gratuities, but you're still saving money on purchasing it on your own. Yeah, definitely. As long as they don't jack up the price, right? I mean, ah, of the cruise. 
for the package. That's the tricky part about those perks is you have to really make sure that your cruise price is reasonable. So there's a lot, we could talk about that for hours and hours. So what do you think guys? Let's move on to Princess. Actually, do you have any big ones for me? I have um, Susie Junko. Have Susie Junko. Mm -hmm. This is a, an RC. Do you have to buy the package? Um, or can you pay as you go on Royal Caribbean? Mm, okay. On Royal Caribbean, I think you have to pre-purchase the package for the whole entire trip, but we'll we'll check on the package when we get to Royal Caribbean, Susie. We'll see if it's in their fine print, but I believe, you guys, that these packages on every line cannot be purchased by the day. My understanding is that they must be purchased by on the first day or second day, depending on what state you're in and that you have to purchase it for the entire length of your voyage. If anybody knows of any exceptions to that, please let me know. Quick one on Carnival that you should know. Sure. Nurse Nancy. Nurse Nancy. Mm -hmm. What is the Alchemy Bar like on Carnival? Oh, Nurse Nancy. The Alchemy Bar on Carnival is a lot of fun. I personally like it very much. Um, Tommy from Always Be Booked, who's in the chat today, does not like it because it's a little too, like, time-consuming and foo-foo for him, and he likes to just walk up and grab his vodka and soda and walk away. This is a little bit more of a, a prolonged experience. What I would love to tell you to do is go look in our playlist and watch our Carnival Imagination and Carnival Miracle vlogs. We have live... Um, not live, but we have actual vlog footage from our experiences at the Alchemy Bar in both of those vlog sets. And I personally think it's really fun. I also like that you can kind of customize things because I don't really like my drinks that sweet. And they'll usually make adjustments. They also have days when they'll make custom drinks for you and you fill out this cool checklist. You're gonna see that checklist in our Carnival Imagination vlog uh, playlist. So please check it out, it's a blast. I really like it. Okie dokie. Let's see here, Nighty saying, Sharon, that, um, that, it, that the Bahama Mama is a cocktail. It is not frozen. Okay, let's do our next cruise line, which is Princess. Is that okay, Mr. Cruise Tips TV? All right, you stop me if you need to, okay? All right, Princess, guys. Their premier beverage package costs $59.99 per person per day, plus a 15% gratuity. It includes all cocktails, spirits, beers, and glasses of wine up to $12, bottled water, juice, fountain soda, energy drinks, specialty coffee and teas, frappes, mocktails, and milkshakes. Mm, milkshakes are also included. Each purchaser of the package also receives a 25% discount on all bottled wine. Additionally, Princess offers beer packages by brand that include Five bottles for the price of four. They have Dos Equis, Heineken, Budweiser, and Bud Light, and those range guys from $22 to $26 for those five bottles for the price of four. The price includes the service charge. Beer packages are not available on Diamond Princess, Emerald, or Golden uh, when itineraries begin or end in Australia or New Zealand. Okay. Um, going back to Norwegian, Tommy is sharing with us guys that the good thing about Norwegian is that they're very liberal with their pours. No jiggers and often don't even ask for your card. If you tip well, they'll have your drink ready and give you more than one drink at once. Thank you, Tommy. That is exactly what we need to know. Sharon is telling us guys that Princess just raised their drink package, I think, to $69.99. And I think that that literally happened in the last few weeks, Sharon. You're right. I'm sorry, but I printed this off a few weeks ago and I totally missed that detail, so thanks you guys. Um, for those of you who are watching this as a replay, it is currently late October 2017 and these things are gonna change like crazy all the time, so be patient with us as we navigate through the changing um, through the changing prices. Okay, back to Princess, here we go guys, ready? Package is available on Princess on an individual basis. Passengers traveling in the same stateroom do not have to purchase it if the other person does. However, they do have a limit of 15 alcoholic beverages per person per day. I think that's great. Um, personally, that to me is very attractive. I know, I think it's a little bit, $69 a day is expensive, especially once you add gratuity. And I personally would not spend $70 a day on cocktails, but you know, Something good to know. Let's talk a little bit about some price changes, guys. It said the premier beverage package is not available on select voyages. For all Australia-based voyages on Princess through October 31st, 2017, the package is available for $77 Australia per day, Australian dollars, including the service charge. Starting November 1, 2017, the package will increase to $86.99 Australian per day 
Pre-purchase package pricing is converted to the applicable currency conversion rate from the US based price and subject to fluctuation. I still do not know why it's more expensive in Australia. So yeah, mm, man, I'm telling you. Pretty soon we're gonna move on to Royal Caribbean, but let's take a break for questions. I'm ready. Roxanne Hayes, going back to the Alchemy Bar. What's yeah. the difference between the Alchemy Bar and other bars? Yeah, Roxanne, the Alchemy Bar is like a craft cocktail bar. So what they use to create their cocktails are things like fresh juices, herbs, and they have their own menu. It's a separate menu. They also have, um, they kind of have just a, a clever little marketing shtick with it. It's supposed to be kind of like your drink is your prescription and um, that it's like a, it, that your, your cocktail is kind of crafted for what ails you. So they have really clever, funny names for their drinks like 40 is the new 20 and, and things like that. But they are really delicious. They are different. The drinks are different too. Now that doesn't mean that you sometimes can't find that they may serve one of the cocktails from the Alchemy Bar somewhere else on the ship, but they are, they have their own special menu. It's a lot of fun too. Okay, um, let's see here. Sandra said on Princess with the beverage package, can a bottle of wine be purchased and included or does that get done separately? Well, it, you can't buy a bottle of wine just because you have the package, but you get probably get a discount on wine. Um, for some reason, the fine print that I have here for Princess does not seem to explain their wine purchase process, but most of the other lines offer some kind of a discount. Okay. Was that Sandra there too? Um, yeah, that was Sandra. Mm -hmm. I have one from Elaine Haywood. Elaine Haywood, okay. As an adult over 21, did you have to purchase the adult, the alcoholic package on ships that make everyone in the cabin have the drink package? Yes. Yeah, Elaine, if, if there's, and which cruise line? She didn't specify. She's not specifying. On most of the cruise lines, except for Princess that we're going over today, anyone over 21 has to purchase the drink package in the cabin. Or if you're sharing, well, it just depends on the line. But generally speaking, except Princess, yes, over 21, same cabin, must purchase. Okay. Um, Daryl, you like all of the two for one deals on Princess? Yes. They do make the beverage package ne less necessary, Daryl. In fact, I took advantage of that two times on my last cruise and I really enjoyed it. And um, my son had the soda package, but he used it for mocktails and he could even go and get his little two for one mocktails at the wheelhouse bar during their two for one happy hour. It's true. It's a really nice perk. And I also find that Princess's drinks aren't that expensive. My average cocktail costs about eight seventy five, dollars which isn't that bad compared to what a lot of people says. Um, yeah. John Pagini is booked on Royal Caribbean Anthem uh -huh. for next Easter, and he paid the de paper deluxe drink package uh -huh. um, plus a dining package. Now they have put them both together, but it's cheaper as a pair, and he wants to know if he can cancel. Um, you might be able to cancel as John Pagani. Is it John Pagani? That yes. you're, you might be able to call the cruise line and have your perk... Um, reassigned like you can choose another perk but I, I can't answer that for sure because of the pre-purchase part I'm not sure but I would give them a call and just check and see okie dokie um, let me check on that gratuities question for you Starwood you're asking if the $69 a day no uh, oh yeah yes 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 um, the $68.99 80 I'm so sorry guys $68.99 per day with a 15% service charge included, that's correct. So the $68.99 per day is the final amount. Okay. Um, Always Be Booked is saying the only advantage to Carnival, as far as he knows, is that over the other lines, basic drink package is that the premium coffee drinks are included. Yeah, that's really nice. I think that, that that's a perk. I mean, if you're paying, if you're, you know, 15 bucks worth of coffee per day, if you're getting one or two cups in the morning and then maybe an afternoon coffee or something like that, that's a lot of money. Okay, let's move on to Royal Caribbean, you guys. Royal Caribbean is an interesting one. So Royal Caribbean offers their drink packages on all ships with three nights or longer itineraries, offering the all-inclusive package. Um, they have one alcohol-inclusive package on offer. It's $55 per day. It's called the Deluxe Beverage Package, including it includes premium coffee and tea, bottled still and sparkling water, fresh squeezed orange juice, house and premium cocktails up to 12 bucks, cocktails, beers, wine by the glass, non-alcoholic, soda, la la la, and then there's a 20% discount on wine bottle purchases more than $100. And let's see here. 
a 40% discount on wine bottle purchases up to $100. For drinks over $12, a $12 credit will be applied for the price of the drink. Gratuities are charged, you guys, we're on Royal Caribbean just to remind you, gratuities are charged on a lump sum of 18% at the time of purchase. So that's good to know. Fine print on this one is that it ha it's only available on two night or longer sailings. You must purchase, um, let's see here, if one person in the cabin purchases a package, all others are required to. Now, I've heard from Matt at Royal Caribbean Blog that you can get an exception to this. So I don't know if this is on every cruise line, guys, but at least on Royal Caribbean, they have several exception categories for the other person in the cabin having to purchase it. So if you have a medical reason not to drink, if you're a recovering alcoholic, um, if you have, if for health reasons you cannot drink, you can get that waived. So that's an important thing to know. I don't know a lot of details on whether or not cruise lines will do that, but I think it's really good to look into that if you have a very valid reason for not wanting to do that. So there's no daily limit as far as I know. And Tommy, let me know if you've heard differently on Royal Caribbean, no daily limit on how many items a person may order, but package users may only order one item at a time for individual consumption. So you guys, that's that was all of the drink packages. Let's answer a few questions and then let's switch over to a conversation about dining. Um, Mr. Cruise Tips TV, do you have any burning questions about drinks you want me to cover before we move over to dining? Two questions from Nurse Nancy. Nurse Nancy, I'm ready. Does Carnival have a happy hour? Mm, or, I've, yeah, okay. Or is it only discount drinks of the day? You know what? Um, I've never seen a happy hour on Carnival, Nurse Nancy. I've only noticed that on Prince, on Princess, but maybe some other folks who have sailed on other ships in the Carnival fleet can let me know now. You never know. They could offer it. You have to look at your, your fun times and see. And then I'm so sorry. I forgot the second question. Because I didn't ask it. Oh, you didn't ask it. Okay. How much do premium coffee drinks cost on Carnival? How much do premium coffee drinks cost on Carnival? Anywhere from $1.95 for like an Americano, which is express, espresso with hot water, up to probably $4 to $5.95 for a specialty drink. A latte is probably going to run you $3 to $5. Um, a flavored latte, add about a buck to that. Yeah. Um, Tommy from Always Be Booked said, guys, no limit on Royal Caribbean. Thanks so much, Tommy, for helping out today. I really appreciate this. Um, I've never, you guys, just full disclosure, I've never actually purchased a beverage package. I do have a beverage package on my Norwegian Bliss sailing that's coming up way far away next year. And I have a sip and sail on Princess in my 2019 cruise. They were both, in, well, yeah, they were both included with the cruise. So, um, you know, I will have some experience with it, but I don't. We buy the soda packages. Yeah, Tommy's saying to get the best deal on um, Carnival. They say it's the Foster's beer or buckets of beer or drinks of the day. Yeah, that sounds about right. Cool. Barb Lynn is saying coffee drinks on Carnival cost about the same as Starbucks. Barb, that is an excellent parallel, and I would agree with that. Um, Megan Leaf Ewing says her husband always gets the soda package on Royal Caribbean. You pre-buy it, but they do sell it the first day. It's $8.50 per person per day. Not everyone has to buy. Megan, you and I have so much in common. Every single time you come into the chat, I'm always amazed at how much we have in common. Um, my husband does the exact same thing, and on Princess, it's about the same price. We love it and love that there's mocktails and things like that, too. He may or may not sneak me a grapefruit juice every so often. Just every so often. But don't tell anybody. <laughs> okay, so we've got some um, dining questions coming in, guys, and I'm going to go ahead and actually try to answer um, family cruise tips here. For dining, which is the best dining package for a seven-night cruise? Two, three, four, five, six, or seven on Royal Caribbean. Okay, family cruise tips. I'm going to just give you my opinion because there is no answer. The answer is going to be right for you. If it was me, I would choose three or four. I think that's enough because it's a lot of food. So, um, I think you'll find that you'll probably have other things you want to do, like on a busy port day. You might be like coming back from the ship really late on a busy port day and feel like you just want to hit the buffet and you don't want to go to a specialty restaurant or even the main dining room. Or maybe you'll just want to try the main dining room maybe on your first night when you're feeling a little more grubby. So I think three or four is enough. Um, that's just my opinion. Okay, um, let's see here. I think that Joe Ellen has a gluten-free question coming in. I definitely want to prioritize this. Joe Ellen Crosby said, on Carnival Vista ship in two weeks, my son must eat gluten-free. I know we're okay in the main dining room, but can he eat at the buffet and the Italian restaurant? Joe Ellen, most likely the answer is yes, but you are going to find that you have the best success with gluten-free in the main dining room. What you need to do when you go to the buffet and to the Italian restaurant 
is you must speak with a head waiter um, or a maitre d'. So you need to ask for the head chef in the buffet and literally ask them to walk you around. There may be some items that are very obviously gluten-free, but you need to really check with them because some of these things are like mixed ingredient foods. Like you'll see a chicken in a gravy and who knows if they made it with flour or you'll see a potato salad and who knows if some gluten snuck into that. You've really got to talk to the head chef, but breakfast, lunch, and dinner in the main dining room, they're going to pamper you, and you're hopefully you will be letting them know on night one, you need to definitely speak with a head waiter. I suggest that you, if you haven't already contacted the cruise line, I suggest that you go to the office hours that they have in the main dining room on day one, where people change their table assignments and let them know um, about your situation, or on night one, let them know. What they will likely do is give you a ton of choice, and I think that's going to work out really Really, really well for you. Jim Ring asked, is the 18% gratuity on each drink consumed or the entire package cost per day? Great question, Jim. It is the cost of the package, not per drink. Great question. Okay. Um, Yvonne C. Has, an, has an, a little experience to share. Hi, I just got off the cruise with Victory. I really enjoyed myself. The food was good and I did purchase the drink package. It was a 15 drinks, alcoholic drinks per day and um, unlimited soda and Powerade. That sounds good. Okay. Very good. Very good. So here we go. We're going to start talking about specialty dining. What? Oh, okay. That's, I have a couple of Oh, oh, okay, before we jump into specialty dining, a few more questions. I'm ready. Just, just simple. It's Emily mm -hmm. Griffin wants to know, do the souvenir cups come with the cheers package on Carnival, or specifically the ones that have that they have around the Lido deck? No, they do not. Who is that again? Emily Griffin. Emily, no. The souvenir drinks and the specialty drinks served in the special cups do not come with the drink packages. You will have to buy them separately or ask them to upcharge you, where they charge a little difference. I'm sure that every cruise line handles that separately, but I've never known any cruise line to let their specialty drinks um, like that be included in the package. Yeah. Souvenir. Souvenir cups. What the? Whoa. Um, I think Anne Marie Passaretti is asking a question right now. Do you think two to three cocktails and two to three sodas consumed each day is worth the drink package on Princess? No, I don't. Per person? I mean, it's borderline. If you were to go three cocktails per day and three sodas, so let's say the average price of a cocktail is $9. That's $27 plus three sodas, which is probably $10. That's $37. Nope, it still does not equal the, the $70 drink package. It's, it's, you have to drink a good amount. Okay. Yes. One fun one. Walking around with Herb. Walking around with Herb. Coming at you. And this has already been answered, but it's good information for everybody. Okay. I heard that you can carry over your princess coffee card to another cruise yes. if you don't use it all on a cruise. Uh -huh. you know if that's true. Yes, it is true. You can carry over your princess coffee card on another cruise. I will say that um, it, very a very kind subscriber of ours had an extra coffee card from their cruise, and they gave it to us to take on our cruise, and we actually did on our princess cruise. You can take it, but you cannot. You can use it. They'll, they'll punch the cards, but... You can only get free drip coffee, which is a perk of buying a coffee card, on your existing sailing. So what that means is that in the morning, if you wanted to walk up to the espresso bar and you just wanted to get a drip coffee, so a non-espresso, and you had purchased the coffee card on Princess on that sailing, they would give that to you for free without a punch. But they will not allow you to use an old coffee card and get free coffee. I don't know why that is, but I'm sure that we can all kind of talk about that. Tommy from Always Be Booked, guys, is making a really good point about the drink packages because sometimes we don't make the decision to buy the drink package because it saves money. We buy it for budgeting purposes, like Tommy is saying here. He said, getting the package is also great for budgeting. You don't have to think about it once you have it. Yeah, you don't have to think about it once you have it. You don't have to worry about spending that money on the ship. And maybe it's more about just relaxing into the cruise without thinking you're being nickeled and dimed. And that may be worth that extra cost to some people. And I think that there's a lot of components to choosing the drink package other than just getting out an Excel spreadsheet and doing the exact math. It is about budgeting. It is about preparation. It is about planning and you know setting that money aside. Whether or not it's always worth it is up to you. Okay. All right. Um, uh, do you want to throw a few more in before I jump into the dining packages? So you guys, today I'm only going to cover this, the specialty dining packages of cr two cruise lines because really 
only Royal Caribbean and Norwegian have dining packages per se, like we're talking about. So if during this time you have any questions for us about main dining room food or buffet food or that kind of dining experience, please let me know. In fact, Night Audit, I want to read your question right now that you sent me. Um, let's see here. Night Audit had a had a question. He's going on Coral Princess in December and said um, that one dining room on Coral Princess is for traditional dining and the other is for anytime dining. As we chose anytime dining, are we restricted from going to the other? So night audit, yeah, unfortunately you are. Um, if you've chosen anytime dining, you cannot go to the other dining room where they have the set dining times. They won't allow you to do that. If it's the other way around, they might. Like if you didn't want to go to, if you had traditional dining and you wanted to switch to any time, you could switch that way, but you can't switch back. Now there is one thing you could ask about when you got on onto the ship. You could ask if there was any space in the later seating. I can guarantee you on Coral Princess that early dining will be booked and waitlisted, and you won't be able to get in there. But if you guys decided you wanted to go to that eight or 8.15 or 8.30 seating every night, and they had extra space and you didn't want to do any time anymore, they might let you switch over to late dining, but never early dining. Early dining is too popular. Hopefully that answers your question. There was another dining question that I wanted to, or another dining tip that came in that was great from HD Jester, who couldn't be here today. He said, we always schedule the specialty dining on sea days. I love that tip, it's so simple, but you're really more relaxed on a sea day. You're not coming back from a busy port excursion or anything like that, and you can just kind of jump in and and get ready and have a pre-dinner cocktail and really relax into your specialty dining experience. So thank you, HD Jester, for that. We really appreciate it. Um, let's see here. I have another question I want to read today from Pamela Hunt. This is an excellent question about the Royal Caribbean dining package. And I'm going to go ahead and try to answer this packet, package question before we even jump into the dining because I think it's really important and I don't want to get sidetracked. So Pamela said, um, we're sailing on... Uh, to Bermuda on Royal Caribbean in May and plan on buying a dining package. We've read that they pick a restaurant for you on the first night. What if they pick a place we don't want? Are we stuck with it? Can we change it and how? So yeah, that's a great question, Pamela. And I recently heard Matt at Royal Caribbean blog say that if you don't like the one you're assigned, as soon as you get on the ship, go ahead and give the, um, the dining hotline a call and ask them if you can switch. And I've heard that they're very accommodating. So Pamela, sorry you couldn't be here today, but... Um, we hope that that solves that problem for you. Um, let's see here. I have some fun dining favorites from people too that came in on Facebook. Jennifer Jones Petrio said there's some must do dining things now that we've switched over to dining. On NCL, Cagney's and La Cucina are great and the nachos at Margaritaville are the best and they're crazy inexpensive. And last but not least, you have to have a strawberry crepe from the buffet every evening. So Jennifer, thank you for those Norwegian food tips. All right, Chris Harrelson said, if you cruise on Royal Caribbean, spring for lunch at Johnny Rocket Rockets. I love that. And Charlie has one of my favorite tips of the day and that is Charlie Harnett said, Remind people that if you eat in the steakhouse on Carnival on night one, you get a free bottle of wine. Yes, I love that tip. So amazing. Um, a lot of questions came in about Australian drink packages, and I can't really answer those that well. So we really need to try to get better at that. A tip from BEE17167 came in about drink packages too. If your drink package allows you to get bottled water, with your drinks, go ahead and grab a couple of waters when you get drinks and put them in the fridge in your room so that when you go on excursions, you can pack them in your backpack with your sunscreen and your insect repellent and your hand sanitizer. So I love that, that's a great tip. Thank you very much for that B17167. Okay guys, let's talk dining packages and then the rest of our time after we talk about these two dining packages on Royal Caribbean and NCL is gonna be all questions and answers. And at the end of today's live stream, I will announce to you guys when we're going live next on both channels. We have some really fun live streams planned. Royal Caribbean Dining Package. So, Royal Caribbean Dining Packages are called specialty dining packages and you can enjoy a three, four, or five restaurant package for a discounted price and save up to 40%. The more you dine, the more you save. And kids six to 12 now dine at the specialty restaurants for only $10 and kidlets under five are free, guys. That's great. 
and little cruisers get their own menu. So this is what Royal Caribbean offers. Okay, here we go. And I'm sure that there's some, I'm sure that there are some, um, there's some fine print here about which ship this is on. And I do not have that information here. They didn't have it on their website. So make sure you read the fine print when you're indulging in a Royal Caribbean package. You can get a three restaurant specialty dining package on Royal Caribbean for 75 bucks per person a four restaurant specialty dining package for $90 and a five restaurant package for $105. It is definitely guys, definitely a money saving um, strategy to buy the package if you are going to go to those restaurants, especially the more expensive ones like Chops where you're paying 45 or whatever, 50 bucks per person, it's definitely a money saver. So that is the simple Royal Caribbean package. Now let's talk about Norwegian. Remember that with Norwegian, you may have already got the dining package or chosen it as part of your perk package. So you may not need to buy this, but let's say you chose other perks. Let's say you didn't want the dining package and you wanna buy it. Maybe you bought the alcohol package, the unlimited beverage package they call it, and you bought the shore excursion or the internet or the free gratuities. Well, this is what it would cost you to buy the dining package on Norwegian. For three specialty meals, it's $69 per person. For four, it's $84 per person. Five is $99 per person. Six meals is $114. And then it goes all the way on up to 14 meals being $199 per person. So essentially, they're adding about $10 per um, meal. That's a good deal too. Again, especially if you're eating somewhere expensive like the Brazilian steakhouse, the teppanyaki or the um, or the regular steakhouse, like the French restaurants, um, the Italian restaurants, that's going to save you some money. So that's how the, the dining package works on Norwegian. And yay, guys, we are actually free now for the last 15 minutes of total fun q and I'm ready. Elaine Haywood. Elaine Haywood. She's going on the Mariner of the Seas by Royal Caribbean in May, and mm -hmm. she would like to know if the table is pre-booked or open dining like Norwegian. Royal Caribbean? Mm -hmm. um, on Royal Caribbean, you can do traditional dining, and they have sort of like sort of like most of the major cruise lines, you can do set time dining or your time dining where you can um, go in at any time. So you, you do need to check with your travel agent or the cruise line in advance and see what you have pre-selected already. You probably already have pre-selected something, so check it out. Log into your um, cruise personalization thing on the Royal Caribbean website and take a look at what the offerings are. Okay. Chris, Chris V. Chris V. On Carnival, are you allowed to bring your own soda to the MDR to have with dinner instead of buying a soda? Yeah, you can take your own soda to the MDR. They don't mind at all. My husband takes a can of Diet Coke with him all the time. We smuggle it in my son's backpack. No, it's fine. They'll really even bring you a cup of ice for it. Tommy, you're apologizing to me? Tommy said, I have to apologize to you for giving you a hard time some episodes back about using the salad bar at Bra NCL's Brazilian Steakhouse. It's definitely a strong move. <laughs> yeah, I know, Tommy, I know. But you know what? You don't have to apologize. I didn't take any offense to it because I'm also totally a steak lover. I don't like the same kind of steak you like. I'm a total filet mignon wimp, but um, I do... I do really appreciate the salad bar there, but when I go to places like Cagney's or um, you know the steakhouses on Carnival, which I love by the way, and I know you do too, I'm a total carnivore. So I, I can I can go into the vegetable side of things, I can go into the carnivore side of things equally as well. So I see some great um, commentary coming in here about the, the packages. Steve is saying that NCL specialty dining package is completely worth it. For about $250, I can purchase a five night package versus about $200 for a fancy dinner for two back home. Yeah, I'll take the package. Yeah, I would agree, Steve. Is that for both of you or is that just for you? Okay, Nurse Nancy has a great tip. Oh, we also love the Blue Iguana breakfast burritos on Carnival. Just discovered these and ate them almost every day. I know, isn't that a nice breakfast alternative? The Blue Iguana Cantina? I had the um, huevos rancheros there and I loved it. And I liked being out on the pool deck at breakfast. It was kind of quiet and peaceful and really nice. Um, yeah. Na Naidi Padilla said, I use cruiseline.com to check if the price went down. Naidi, how do we not cover that earlier? Yes, you have to set a price, a, a price alert. That's right. Very good one. Okay, I'm ready. Christmas Corner. She's Christmas Corner. Welcome. Can you bring your own food on board Norwegian Cruise? You could probably bring some of your own food on board your cruise, but I, I have to tell you, 
you probably won't need it. I'm sure there's exceptions to that. Maybe if you have a small child and they have special little teething snacks that they need, or maybe you have low blood sugar and you need to take some peanuts with you, I can understand that. I get hangry. I get really hangry. Ask my husband. When my, when my mom, mom, if you're in the chat, this is for you. When my mom um, met my husband, my now husband, she warned him that I get hangry, even though hangry wasn't even a word then, and told him that he should keep some crackers in the car. So I hear you. Maybe you need to bring some, but I wouldn't recommend it. You're going to be surrounded by a massive amount of food. So, um, Lost Pikachu said, are we able to take food from the cruise home? I mean, maybe a little bit. Like if you wanted to put a muffin in your purse in a Ziploc bag and take it off the ship with you that day, you could. Uh, I, most people don't. It's kind of, it's probably kind of frowned upon and um, it would probably take up a lot of room in your suitcase. But I can tell you that on mornings when we've disembarked really early using self-assist, I've grabbed like a muffin or a little box of Cheerios for my son and I put him in my purse and he ate him in the car because we just weren't hungry yet. So that's, um, <laughs> that's definitely an option for you. <laughs> oh my goodness sakes. Yeah. Everybody's comments are really funny today. Oh, I like Bella's question. Bella, on Royal Caribbean, is Johnny Rockets included? If not, how much is it approximately? So, Bella, I have a secret tip for you. Breakfast is free at Johnny Rockets. Did you know that? On Royal Caribbean, they charge for lunch and dinner, I think, or is it just dinner that they charge for? But breakfast is, I believe it's complimentary. So, insider tip. Can somebody back me up and tell me that Johnny Rockets is free for breakfast and lunch, or if it's just free for breakfast here? I would really appreciate that. Um, Holly Payne, can you still bring a 12 pack of soda or water on Royal Caribbean? In their policy, they say you can't, but a lot of people still do it on Royal Caribbean. Now, some cruise lines are very strict about it. Go over to royalcaribbeanblog.com and post your question in the forums and see what they're saying these days about it because the cruisers over there are on Royal Caribbean all the time and they're going to tell you, okay? Um, I'm ready. Ryan Richard. Ryan Richard. Question on the Crown Grill. I noticed that the menu is divided by meat and sides. How much uh -huh. are you allowed to order? Ryan, you're allowed to order one um, meat or seafood entree per person, but for sides, you can probably order multiple. So here's an example. Let's say you wanted um, two appetizers. That's probably fine, but if you wanted two entrees, like if you wanted the sea bass and the filet mignon and they weren't bundled, they might charge you an extra, extra surcharge, like $10 or something for an extra protein. Um, but if you wanted two desserts or two appetizers, I think that they would let you do that without an extra charge, just not the main courses. Okay, um, Lovejoy, Gratitude, and Trisha, and um, Dana and Dina are all saying that um, that Johnny Rockets guys on Royal Caribbean is only free for breakfast, not lunch. Thank you for checking my facts on that. I really appreciate it, you guys. I tell, I'm telling you, I need you. I need you, my little fact checkers. Okay. Let's see. Okay, I want to read Steve's comment. Note on Norwegian's drink, pa oh, excuse me, Norwegian's dining package perk on a seven night cruise, the perk only covers three nights. If you want more than three nights, purchase it on your own. Thank you, Steve. I think that's the perk I have on my next cruise on Bliss, by the way. I think I must have the three night. So if you get it as a perk, it's not really every night of, of specialty dining. Sorry, honey, I'm not, we're not going to be able to go to the teppanyaki or the steakhouse every single night. <laughs> Do you remember how much we ate on that cruise? Oh my gosh, Norwegian's ultimate dining package will make you fat. I'm, I'm telling you, we were going to teppanyaki for lunch and we were like, I can't do it anymore. We were so full because we were eating this incredibly good food. It was like, oh my gosh, I don't really think I want a seven night package of this. I just can't eat that much food. So, um, we all got really good at catching this stuff. We got really good at catching this stuff. I know, you know how they do that in the teppanyaki. We were all catching steak and mushrooms and eggs and our, and our hats and in our mouth by the end of that cruise. So fun. Um, do you have any cued up for me? Okay. Steven, I'd like to share this. Steven said, I have an idea for dining. The main dining room should have a theme dining for one night or longer cruises, like Indian, Italian, French. Waiters can get dressed up for the theme and decorate the MDR, et cetera. Steven, on some cruise lines, they do that. Um, I know on Princess and Carnival, they'll do French night, they'll do um, Italian night, and they'll do, um, I can't remember the other ones, but on my most recent Princess cruise, they did an Italian night, and the poor waiters had to wear some pretty obnoxious striped sweaters. They were like horizontal red and green stripes with like really no low necklines, and they wore like a little scarf and you could tell they were really uncomfortable but it was all Italian food and it was really good so 
Um, Tommy said, have you guys ever done the chef's table? Always wanted to, but never pulled the trigger. No, Tommy, we, we haven't done it because I, we do everything with our child, but this is one thing I'm just not sure he's ready for. And I don't think I want to spend 80 bucks or $75 on food for him. He only weighs 40 pounds and he wouldn't appreciate it. So we're going to wait until he's a little older or maybe you never know when we go on a cruise with my mom, she can, she can take him to the buffet and maybe we'll go to the chef's table. I've heard it's a spectacular Tommy on carnival and I really want to do it. Um, I think you have to go with the right people. Like I know that that's, that's a big thing because you're at like one of those small tables where you're like sitting next to everybody and sort of sharing the experience. So I think that it's a matter of going with the right people too. Okay. Um, yes, love, joy, gratitude. You could take a sandwich off the ship. They wouldn't stop you. But be careful in ports because in ports, in some places, it's, a, it's illegal to take fruit or other types of food off the ship. And they will have signs everywhere telling you when that's the case. So do be very careful about that because of um, agricultural rules and safety and things like that. Okay. Excellent. Yes. Maribel, Maribel. Wants, wants to know who she should speak to. Um, on the ship about a peanut allergy or any kind of Ah, allergy. Maribel, on the ship about your peanut allergy, you should speak to the maitre d' or head waiter. Please do not rely simply on your waiter to handle a food allergy. You need to go to the top and make sure that they accommodate you. They can absolutely accommodate you though. You you be, be bold, be brave, go cruising, have fun. The main dining room is going to be an easier place for you to eat than it is going to be the buffet or the other restaurants, but they're going to take good care of you. Okay. All right, Bonnie is sharing that the theme dining in the main dining room is always how things were done in the past. The menu stayed the same every week and the wait staff knew what day it was based on the nationality of the food. Yeah, totally, Bonnie. That's been our experience too. It rotates French, American, Italian, continental, whatever. I've noticed that too. Um, Patty McRae, can you wear jeans to the main dining room? Generally speaking, Patty, yes, on most cruise lines you can wear jeans to the main dining room as long as they're not ripped, torn, baggy, or, you know, in poor condition, most people do wear jeans in the dining room. So you should feel comfortable about that. I think it's important to like, you know, you want to look presentable. Otherwise, I wouldn't recommend jeans, a sweatshirt, a hat, and flip-flops. But I would recommend, you know, a nice top or something like that with jeans. should be just fine. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Nadia said you might want to call beforehand about your food allergy. Now, I know Royal Caribbean has a hotline for that um, for special needs, and you can do that. You can do that, but they will, they should be able to accommodate you beforehand because generally speaking on any one given sailing, they do have multiple people with allergies, gluten allergies, nut allergies, um, dairy allergies, things like that. They are very accustomed to accommodating you, but you can contact them in advance. Sherilyn said, um, is the main dining room included or is it just the buffet? Sherilyn, that's an excellent question. On the mainstream cruise line, the main dining room is absolutely included with your cruise fare. I don't like to say it's free because you paid for the cruise, so it's not free, but um, it is included in your cruise fare. Enjoy it. It's generally a wonderful experience. It's nice to be pampered and to be served. We all love that about cruising. Okay. We have about three more minutes, guys. So get those last minute questions in. I'm going to give you guys a few announcements right now that I think you're gonna to wanna to hear about. You wanna know when our next live stream is? We're definitely going to pop up live sometime in the next um, week, possibly on Halloween. Um, a lot going on on Halloween. I'm working that day, it is my birthday, and I wanna get my son out trick-or-treating into a Halloween street fair. So we're gonna to try to squeeze in a quick, quick, quick hello live stream, and maybe you'll get a glimpse of my costume on Halloween, but I can't make any promises because I have to rush out of work. So if I can get out of work and come up home, I will. We'll get that done. Um, next live stream that we have definitely planned is next Saturday. Yay! November 4th, we're going live again next weekend, and our topic is packing light. We're going to talk all about packing light, and you guys are going to help me because you know that my upcoming Panama Canal cruise, I'm going carry-on only. I need lots of advice, but we're going to talk all about tips and tricks for packing light Saturday, November 4th at noon Pacific time. And tomorrow on our Cruise Gear channel, which is youtube.com forward slash cruise gear, where we cover all things cruise stuff, we are going to do an unbox-a-thon. New thing I'm unboxing, you guys. I'm going to unbox my Stitch Fix. We are also going to, oh, by the way, Stitch Fix is a clothing service, and I asked them to send me a cruise 
um, set of clothing. So I'm gonna have five items that are specifically for my cruise and we're gonna see if I like them and if I'm gonna keep them. That's tomorrow at 11 a.m. Pacific time on our cruise gear channel, which you can access right here somewhere through this channel. Um, and you should definitely subscribe, you guys. Cruise gear is fun. We even have discount codes for you guys on certain products sometimes when we partner with different brands. So we'd love to bring you that stuff. So tomorrow, we're unboxing Stitch Fix, Ipsy, and a Target Beauty Box, and maybe one other thing, but I'm not sure, at 11 a.m. Pacific time, so join us over there. Um, Nurse Nancy, I've never tried Cucina del Capitano on Carnival at all, let alone for lunch, so I'm sorry, I don't know, but maybe somebody here can um, speak to that. Mr. Chris TV, anything else you've been holding for me for the last few moments of our Welcome live stream? Lori Hill. Lori. We have always done my time dining on our seat. Are we missing out on something in the main dining room that no. has either early or late dining time? No, you're not missing out on anything. Um, what was her first name again? Lori. Lori. Lori Heald. No, you're not missing out on anything. Anytime dining is the same as traditional dining. It's the same menu. It's just that you have more freedom to walk in and out. If you like anytime dining, stick with it, my friend. Yeah, Melissa, I love Stitch Fix too. It's been a while. I don't get them very often because they're very expensive, but I treated myself to one for my birthday. So we're gonna see if I like it. I don't know, you never know. It's always hard because I'm difficult to fit. I'm very short, I'm five foot zero. Those of you guys who have met me on a cruise ship probably don't, are afraid to say it, but usually people do admit it to me after they see me a few times. They're like, one thing that surprised me is we realized how short you are, you guys. I'm really, really, really short and it's hard to fit into stuff, so. We'll see. It might be a total fail. I might keep all five items. You just never know. Okay. Yeah. Love, joy, gratitude. We're excited for our carry-on packing video next Saturday, November 4th as well. Yes. Let's help Sherry get there because I am terrified of this and I just don't know how I'm going to do it. So you guys, we are ready. Unless Mr. Cruise Tips TV has any urgent questions coming in for me, anything I need to address, mm -hmm. we're going to go ahead and sign off. Thank you so much. We've enjoyed this hour with you guys so, so much. Thank you for all of your support and thank you for all the early birthday wishes. You guys are so precious and I really appreciate you. Special thanks to Tommy from Always be booked and Stephen Roth also for sharing all of your expertise today you guys on the dining and drink packages we really really appreciate your help this is definitely not something that we want to do, do alone and we always need you so keep joining us thanks so much you guys until next time we'll see you probably tomorrow on cruise gear and next Saturday but we'll see you on the high seas bye cruise are all three <laughs>